I keep pounding the table here because Chris Brockman flies across the country all the time, takes no, his we shoes off. Talk about this, takes, yeah. well, we have to because, uh, and and then I I keep getting people because we talk about it all the time here. I think it's an affront to humanity. There should be an FAA regulation. Keep your shoes on. You take your shoes off. It don't, I, don't put me in a position of wondering about your, about wondering they, about your hygiene. They should have their own airline. That yes. there should be a giant cargo plane with like the, the propellers. Yes. The army. You know, I'm sure we got an extra one after this point, right? Yeah. It's just there's yeah. one of them. <laughs> it leaves yes. a day. Yes. And you put them all on it. All of them. Do what you want to do. Yep. Take your shoes People off. People talk too loud on a cell phone. Now I didn't know that you were uh, like minded here. But every time on Twitter, people are now sending me pictures of people with shoes off. And oh. now I'm seeing at Bill Burr included on oh, these yeah. photographs that I'm getting sent to. So I'm figured, I guess Bill must feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't understand. I, I don't put me in the position of wondering if your feet are okay. Don't put now, me in that spot. Oh, their feet stink. And then also just like, you know that people have worn their shoes, walked into a public bathroom. You know, God knows what is on there that is now on their shoes, yeah. that is now in the rug. Yeah. And then you're going to take it off. And your socks, they're going to, like, absorb it and just like a, like a skillet, keeping the flavor in there. And you're just going to walk around with those things. You're going to come home to your house where your kids are. Terrible. Yeah. What are you going to do? With thousands of people's DNA from their innards <laughs> on your gold-toed socks. And but then what? Do, your but poor I don't wife, do that. I don't poor, do that. What's what do you, that? I don't do that, though. I do what Bill said before the break. I leave the shoe, my feet on top of my own shoes. And if I get up to go to the bathroom, put my shoes back on. That is the tuck rule of taking your shoes, <laughs> taking your shoes off. That's right. Where I'll say to Raiders fan, that's a fumble. Yeah. That's without a doubt a fumble. That's the oh, yeah. dumbest rule. So the Raiders got screwed as far as like that was a that was it's mm. a dumb rule. Mm. But that was payback for 1976, the roughing the passer, where Tony McGee was already in the air. Look at you. He's already in the air. Ken Stable throws the ball, he hits him, they call rough in the pass. And back then, it wasn't a yardage penalty. It's wherever you threw it. And it was the end of the game, and he threw like 40 yards down to the goal oh, line. Deep. So they put it right on the goal line. I think like Mark Van Egan or somebody ran it in, Look and it was you. over. It was, I collected football cards. I don't know who anybody is now. <laughs> I have no short-term memory. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.